Well, up probably up until 2010, our our R and D and our and our product release um, process was you know we would design everything on on CAD and then and then we would build a prototype and then it would go out in the field and it would have to run for a certain number of acres. Usually we would run it for at least a minimum of two seasons, you know, and then try to get 15 to, to 20,000 acres on it. You know, and then we would bring the prototype back into the, into the factory, disassemble it and, and evaluate it for, for any, any failures or any issues that needed to be addressed in, in the engineering department. Um, over the last couple of years, what we've what we've went to is is uh, trying to speed up that that product release process by um, doing very intensive um, finite element analysis first in the CAD system. So so the initial CAD model we we run through any every scenario that we can imagine that the machine might go through and uh, test it and analysis on the CAD system. And then what we do is we'll build a build a prototype machine and then we'll, we'll uh, fill the machine with, with these strain gauges and then we've got a computer system that, that records all the data that's, that's being sent um, through these strain gauges and, and basically the machine has got strain gauges which, which are about the size of a band-aid and then, and then wires running, running into the computer. Um, kind of looks like an intensive care station almost and, uh, and then we, we run the machine through through very extreme conditions and then we and then we take the data back from the computer and, and evaluate you know we can we can tell you can see any any change in uh, any small slight change in the material um, either in tension or compression and, and then you can measure the, the amount of stress that's in the material by the movement it has and uh, and so so we can Look at all this data and, and predict areas that um, will will initially put these gauges on an area where we where we think there might be a high stress concentration and an area where we might want to uh, to just watch to see if there's any failures that come up and then we'll we'll uh, evaluate the actual data that we've seen in the field and basically we can we can determine almost immediately after after seeing those results if. Uh, if, if there's going to be a potential issue there or not. So basically within, I mean just running a machine with, with all the strain gauges for, for probably two or three days, we can get um, a, a very good feeling of, of what needs to be changed, what, what needs to be addressed, and, uh, and areas that, that probably won't, won't be any, any potential for failure in the future. So, so that, that process has really allowed us to speed up um, getting products to market because we can we can tell within a couple of days any potential areas that need to be addressed and then we can immediately address those and get get a new machine running and, and new machine testing until until we until we uh, we'll get a prototype and, and we'll have it running with the strain gauges and then we won't see any potential issues then we'll we'll have that machine continue to run for for a certain certain time period and number of acres and then and then after we see good, good results with that, then we release the machine into production.